today Sensei Agata is giving the class, so please uh, pin on her uh, camera, switch off the mic, and uh, Agata, thank you for coming. So we are looking forward to, to follow your class. Uh, so please, uh, uh, let's go. Us. Us, thank you so much. I hope that you will uh, hear me well. If not, just let me know. I will try to speak louder. So I would like to start us in normal karate classes in uh, Seiza. So please sit down. So first we will start with a little bit of stretching. This is one I know that some people uh, start with the a very very big warm up then the stretching we in my dojo with my shihan we start uh, with the stretching for some time ago and i think that it's a good preparation for my muscles so first of all sit down and your legs put your legs wide i will take the time because we will do the exercise each exercise one minute so Put your legs wide and very softly just try to try to bend down like your your back, but try to uh, not push your chin down. Your chin should be up and your back should be straight, so not like that, but rather like that. And it's important also to put your toes up, so you just softly move down and down as your body lets you okay so nothing to hurt yourself just feel your body try to go lower and lower but only as your body lets you we'll do the 10 exercises each uh, 10 uh, one minute so 10 minutes of such stretching. Okay, so if your body lets you, try to put a little bit wider your legs, depending how it will be better for you. And now we uh, move to the left leg, so hidari, and also try to move down. So try to uh, touch by your chest first, your leg, not by the head, okay? Because sometimes we start with the head, and it's not good, your head and your uh, chin should be uh, looking forward. And try to move your body just in front of the leg, okay? So nothing in the inside, just above your leg. And both legs are important, so we are stretching this one, but the other one, you see, I keep it straight, and my toes are also up, both feet. And try to Go down and down. Okay. And the same thing to your knee. So, both hands try to uh, touch your foot. If not possible, you can touch here, like the, on your knee. Depends on how much stretched you are already. Nothing to hurt you. Just try to uh, touch both hands. And again, both legs are straight, both toes are up, and your chin is up. And moving down. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is very important. And in every few seconds, try to go a little bit down. And you should already feel some stretching and that muscles are warming up. And your back to left side. And this time, pull your hand up and bend like that. Yeah. So all you should feel all the stretching here in your body. And the left, uh, left hand you can put inside. You can touch your feet. And what's important is to keep this arm like that. So you are opening to the ceiling, right? Not looking down, but opening to the ceiling and try to uh, be elastic in your body here. 
If you are not able to touch your feet, you can put your hands straight, looking forward, and it's a side bending, not like in the front like previously. And breathe. And again, both legs are straight, both toes are up. And one Again. First hand up and then bending. And breathe. Remember about straight legs, about your feet. Thirty seconds to go. Breathe. It's possible. Try to even more open your body. And oh, good. Relax, now put your legs together. And again, knees straight and we move forward. And again, try to keep your back straight, not to do like that, but to try to at first put your belly, then the chest, and then the head, how much you can do. And important thing, you should have your feet like that. Yeah, Don't put them down. Just open up. Keep your legs straight. Look forward. And stretch. And don't forget to breathe. Good. Now a little bit up. Put your left leg in the front and back leg. Try to touch your uh, kakato to your back. And what is important here is the opening of the hip. So don't put your uh, back to the back. Yeah? You should put it in the front. And try to close your feet as much as possible. To your body and breathe here we uh, stretch the front part of your leg and it's very important how you here uh, move your body because everyone is different so you feel in which position if you should be a little bit to the front or to the back uh, you have to feel this front of the muscles Okay, change. Second one. Again, try to make it as close as possible. But play with your hips, okay? So put your hips in the front. A little change in the uh, hips position will make you feel it completely different. Okay, breathe. With the time, it's, you know, the muscles are not so hard anymore, so you can try to push a little bit harder. And, and in the front, Put your foot like in the front of your face, like in, in your body position, and try to uh, uh, put the knee as much down as possible and approach your hip to the floor. So, like that. And here you should uh, feel your muscles here. And breathe.
Give them the time. Every 10 seconds makes a difference. <laughs> Okay, change the second one. So now, right one, Miggy, and down. And I'm uh, putting my feet as Sokuto. You can see it's not like uh, flat, it's a little bit aside, yeah? And I hope you feel it. I can feel it very well. <laughs> Very good, breathe, try to put more down, down, down with every second, with every breath. Okay, and that's all for the stretching part. And uh, now we will move more to the dynamic part of the, uh, of the warming up. So first, we will a little bit work with our joints to make them prepared for a little bit of more dynamic uh, things. So first, your atama in the front and the back. It's ni, san, shi, go, rok, chits, ats, u, chu, migi, hidari, it's ni, san, shi, go, rok, chits, ats, ku, chu, and yoko, it's ni, Sam, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, and you. Your wrists all together, elbows close. It's mi, san, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, ju. Mate, it's mi, san, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, ju. Elbows back, and we make a round. It's mi, san, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, ju. Mate, now both hands, both arms to the front. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, ju, mawate. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, ju. Migi front, hidari, back. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, and you and uh, your hips stay in the same position and try to stretch a little bit your arm looking on your on your arm but do not stretch do not twist with your hips your hips facing forward you just open your body okay it's me San, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, chu. And the same second arm. It's me, san, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, and And relax your hips. It's me, san, shi, go, mawate. It's me, san, shi. Go twice distance and the same. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, mawate. Itch, ni, san, shi, go. The same for your knees, front and back. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, ju. And moving like you are skiing to the side. Itch, ni, San, chi, go. And your, the lowest parts of the body also need to be warmed up a little bit. So move your feet up and down. So front and back. Itch, mi, san, chi, go, rock, chit, at, ku, ju, mawate. Itch, mi, san, chi, 
go, frog, kids, hat, go. And you. Okay, very well. We'll put it a little bit lower. And now we will do some dynamic exercises. I will just need to set up my clock. So we will do again 10 exercises, but this one, this time will to be dynamic exercises. And I will tell you after each minute what, what will be the next one. Okay, so we will do one minute of exercise, and then you will have a little bit of break, 15 seconds, and I will tell you what's next. So we will start with the jumping jacks. Easy exercise, everyone knows it. One, two, we are all together. Legs together, arms close to the body, and we jump, okay? Moving the clock. Okay, five seconds. Ready, and go. Faster, faster. So I think your heart rate goes a little bit up. So the next one will be jumping squats. You know how to look the squat, squat, and up, and up. Okay, good. Hajime. I think that everyone knows how it looks like. Arms come like that, knees up, and punching. Ready? Go! Punch to the full stretch of your arm. Not like that, not short moves, full moves with a full diakonsuki. of kicking. I'll put you a little bit down. So you do. He's a mind. He's a mind. Everything with your right leg only. So a hands up and he's a mind.
and arms all the time in a kanai. So don't put them like hanging no matter what. Hiza mai. Hiza mai. Hiza mai. You decide how fast you can do. already a little bit of warm-up so the next one easy to guess the next leg so we will do it, everything with kibari Shitatsuki. So, but not the straight punch, but the Shitatsuki. Knees up and punching Shita. If you cannot feel it, make it faster. Front. 
this 10 to make it like the point like the cherry on the cake so we will do the favorite exercise of everyone i think burpee okay one minute of burpee come on the breath we will continue i hope you can feel it are you warmed up hope so let me see you yeah good alexis perfect <laughs> So we're ready to work. This is one of my favorite uh, warm-ups of my Shihan. <laughs> so now, now I'm a little bit stressed because I prepared a little bit of kata fun, but we have the European champion connected. So please come back, don't kill me. So <laughs> everyone knows that Yoko Katasuno each, right? But we don't have enough place at home usually because as you can see i'm at my home to to do the normal take yoko so what i propose to you we will do the take yoko kata but not moving from our one meter square square as it said so we'll do like that one two and now move back but with the jump one and jump two now here one and three steps. One, two, three. Okay? 
Good, you have enough space for that? I hope so. So let's, let's try it. to do it together. Put it at you. Us. Jumping, take your grabs on the itch. Okay, us. And on my counting, itch. And watch your position. Knee. Stop. Cheek. Go. Look. Cheek. Up. Here. Go. Two. X. Knee. Stop. Cheek. Go. Rock. Here. Cheek. Up. Go. Two. Yes. Then relax. Was it okay? Nobody's hurt. Perfect. Okay. So let's try to do it once again a little bit faster. And what is for me important is us in kata. Kata is also for me some way to practice your balance, balance of your body and to be aware about your center of gravity. Because to make a twist in the air, you have to, you know, control your body. You have to feel uh, to make a good twist where your center of the body is located, okay? So try to concentrate by that to, you know, balance a little bit on your body to keep the good stances, like the good Senku Tsudachi, good punch, but again, also the twist. Let's try. Good. Awesome. Thank you, Kukata, so my each jumping one. Awesome. And on my candy. Each. Me. Sand. Cheek. Go. Look. Cheek. Up. Here. Go. Two. Each. Me. Sand. Cheek. Go. Look. Here. Go. Look. Go. Two. And then just. And relax. Very good one. <clears throat> so, jumping one down. I love a lot, many variations of kata. Maybe because I cannot do it as well like, like uh, combat. So I made up my own ones, right? So now we'll do another variation of Tekyoku kata. Also, keeping in mind that we don't have a lot of space in our house. So we will do it in squat. Itch, the knee, stop, cheek. Okay, you got it? Perfect. So, put the latch, us, and now ready down. Take your kukata from the itch, us, and on my counting. Itch, knee, stop, cheek, go, rock. After the warm up, but they are prepared thanks to your jumping and jumping. Okay, good. So, the last variation I have prepared for today is you know, we did a lot of our legs, so I think balance is needed for also our up. So, we will do take your kukata in our push up position. We start with a push up. So first, we go left, right? So H, get on the right, knee, and punch. Start, we have to wait a full round and on the back, okay? Everyone knows how to do it? We try, let's try. Thank you, Kukata, so much. 
Dos. Üç. Wir sind bereit. Nie. Einfach. Stop. can be very hard. <laughs> Great. So, after this, take your core, I would like to move back to this feeling of your stances and to your feeling of your center of your gravity and to start with Kihon, which we will use then in Kumite practice, okay? So, Let's start with Tuve da Chi. Os. Then go to Dachi Gedan Barai. Hidari. Oh, it's a Jiba. Here. And arms up. And what we will do now is feeling your stances and balance of your body. So, in a good and good position, the majority of your gravity of your weight is on the front leg, right? And uh, back leg is straight. So from this position, we will move back this front leg to Kokutsu Dachi. And in Kokutsu Dachi, majority of weight is on our back leg. Okay, so we will a little bit of play with our gravity, with, you know, with our weight, from this to this, okay? First, we will start with only this one. So we are in Renkutsu, that is Renkutsu. And on my counting, we'll go back. Itch, knee, and back to Zinkus. Itch, knee, itch, knee. Make sure that you're putting the weight from back leg, from back leg. Itch, knee, itch, knee, and change. Now, the same with the front. Itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee. Very well. Now I'll say, and now you will use it to also do some kicking. So we will start with the Zakutsudachi. I maybe stand like that so you can see. We move back our leg to Kokutsu, and from this position, we perform front leg migrate. Remember to bend your knee and to kick with a good chosoku. So, from this position, we kick and we go back to Zenkutsu, okay? On one counting, let's say we will do the full everything. So, I will do it slowly in the beginning. Itch, knee, tap, shit, go, rock, cheat, that's. And you. Okay. Very well. 
And now, because we are adding something, don't focus only on the kicking. Focus as well on good positions and good balance of your weight of your body. So we are in Migi, Sankusudachi, and the same. Itch. Knee. Done. Feet. Go. Rock. Cheat. Up. Go. Two. And yeah, yes. Yeah, so. And relax a little bit. Very good. So now we will add a little bit punching to this practice, and then we will use it in the Kumite practice as well. Let's go. Yeah. And hands to the Kamai. And again, the same, but we will do the punching again. So we will start with two punches. One, two, then back. Good kokutsu, kick, and one, two. Okay? In the beginning and at the end, we will add two punches. So let's go. Itch. Knee. Down. Chi. Go. Rock. Six. Up. Go. Two. Very good, Malte. So we have. Right leg in the front, and the same two punches. You can use different kind of punches you choose. Start with the punches and finish the technique with the punches. So let's start. Itch. Knee. Thumb. Cheek. Go. Rock. Cheat. Add. Go. And you. Yeah. And uh, yes, man. Let's relax a little bit. Very nice. <clears throat> so why we do it? Because in the low position, it is more difficult to control your body weight, right? That's why I adore so much the kata masters, because they can switch the positions very well, uh, do it them perfectly in the timing with all the techniques, and it's not at all easy. But we can use this Kihon uh, techniques so the Kumite ones. So the ones that we just used, I will show you. So if you're in a, you will be in the Kumite Dachi. And from the Kumite Dachi, it's much more, more easier, right? Because it's easier to move like that than like from the Zenkutsu Dachi position. So in this position, sometimes uh, some fighters block the knees or, you know, uh, walk without controlling the body weight and the center of your gravity. So all these kata and kihon techniques uh, are to remind ourselves <laughs> that it's important and we do it for a reason. And especially now when uh, we don't have, we cannot practice as usual, uh, we can focus more on the technique, on the details, little bit details. So I know that in previous trainings, uh, the instructors also 
uh, where in you know focusing on the position of walking so use all of that remember and practice 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 to make it more easy for you so from the Kumite Dachi the one that we practice is Denkutsu Denkokutsu you can use when you are you know in the standing position someone is attacking your front leg you are pulling it back so you are making a lock block and from the block you already have a chance to kick but only if you put uh, in a correct way your body weight right because if you do like that you know it, it's destroyed you don't use it so from zenkutsu to kokutsu it's like one and kick yeah so this is how you can use it in uh, kumite so let's practice like that from from kumite position and uh, use not only maigiri use your favorite kick try different kicks and try which one is the best for you because i think it's a good contra when someone's attacking you you're uh, doing a quick block and a contra by uh, by any kick so let's try and now the same but with the movement so we are moving and starting for the counting each one two block kick one two and moving again okay so that's job each and move knee and side and try to use different punches different kicks she Go. Look. And move, move, balance your body. Cheeks. Up. Go. Two. And I like everything to be on the both sides. So let's switch. Let's try to uh, try the same thing from the right leg in the front. Itch. And move. Knee. One, two. Back. Kick. One, two. And move. Sun. Chi. Go. Back. Cheat. Remember to pull back to left, okay? Two more. Go. And you. And one. And relax. Very good, very good. I hope that you got what I meant. Let me check you. Okay. All alive. Very good. <laughs> okay, so did you feel the difference? Like, did you focus on your body center? Oh, perfect. Very nice. So now uh, I will do a little bit of practice with you. I don't know about you, but I miss my daughter very much. And I borrowed a little bit of stuff recently. This is one of the uh, exercises that my Sheehan recently made up and I lo loved it. Do you see it? So you will punch it, but please be careful about your laptops and your cell phones and everything, okay? <laughs> so if I pull up this one, so my right, you will punch the right tsuki, okay? So we'll do the a little bit of play, play of kumite. Left one, you punch which one? Yes, exactly. So we always do not punch straight, but with this, this part, you straight the opposite, okay? So to make it side, the longer punches, okay? So let's uh, start with this one. I will watch you, and you are in a stance position. So kumite dachi, and walking, walking, balancing your body, okay? Eight. 
Yes, fast reaction, very nice. Great. And play with me, play with me. Yes, very nice. And walk, walk, walk. Fast reaction, very nice. Great, 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 you got it. So now we are adding the blocks. So I do like that. It's Mavashigeri to your head. Jordan Mavashigeri, so you make a block, okay? So we add, if I do like that, you punch. If I do like that, it's the Mavashigeri that is coming to kick you, to kick you in your head. So you're making a block or this one, usual block that you do for the Mavashigeri. So let's try, punch. Yes, punch. Great. Mashigeri. Mashigeri, punch. Mashigeri, punch. And punch. Great. Very nice. So we add the next one because you're too good to this. So we are adding Kakato Geri. So approaching you from the above. So usual block for the Kakato Geri is some kind of Jodanuke. You go below the kick, not to let it go to your head, yeah? So if the Mawashi Geri goes, you do like that or you do like that. But if the Kakakato Geri approaches you, you do some kind of Jodanuke, okay? And of course, the punches as well. So let's try your reflex. And Kakato, Kakato, and punch, and a place for another punch. And Mawashi, block your head, and straight back. And up, and block, and punch. Perfect, very nice. <laughs> You're the best. Very good. Great. So I hope you had a little bit of fun with this one. And now I would like to finish with some kind of yo yo to stretch your body after all the um, all the training because I think uh, we had a little bit of sweat. So it's time to a little bit stretch again. So let me. Put the camera so you can see me. So, first of all, we start like with in Seiza, but we sit and we uh, put our body in uh, inside of the knees. So our knees should be somewhere here on our ribs, okay? And you go with arms as far as you can. So that's first. Go far as you can, but remember that we sit on our uh, knees. Okay, and try to stretch everything here. And now, once you're so far away with your hands, try to use your chaté and you know push your floor so you can more sit on your feet. But again, you are far away with your hands, but do, do, do this little movement to a little bit more stretch. So you have stretched here and stretch all your back. And breathe, remember to breathe. And now, don't, don't move your uh, arms, your uh, hands or your knees. We are just moving a little bit up. Still on the same position of the knees. We separate our feet and stretch your uh, belly in the up. Look up, stretch it. And from this position, you know the dog uh, looking down, something like that from yoga. <laughs> and move your hips up. And you should look like a little bit triangle, right? Your legs can be a little bit bent, but the most important is to uh, longer your back as much as possible. And breathe, of course. If you can, you can put your full feet on the floor. If not, it can be a little bit up. 
And from this position, you put left leg foot in the front, okay? Left leg, right one is still there. So I will show you like that. And here, the leg, try to put uh, both elbows down. Or as much down as possible, right? Okay, up. If we have left leg bent, also left hand is next to your feet, and right one is going up, and your arm is fully stretched to the ceiling, and you look up. And try to relax your hips and move it as much down as possible. A little bit of twist in the body. Okay. Change, but only your arms. So all the time, left leg is in the front, right hand is also in the front, and now left hand move up. And important is your knee, you do not pull it to the sides, you keep it straight. And try to stabilize your breath. Okay. Now you can pull down your knee of the front leg and straight move straight your uh, your knee and we stretch the front leg now. Okay, so here we have bent knee. The front leg is straight and as much as possible go down. Very good. Again, bend your knee, but still keep the knee on the floor. And now both hands are straight and try to stretch as much as possible here for your body. And move hips down, but here's up. Okay, and down and just change your legs. One, two, but now in the front we have right one, the left one up, and elbows to the floor. Try to touch by the both elbows, if not possible, just like the arms, but try to be as much low as possible, and you should feel here the interior parts of your leg of your feet and breathe try to relax try to give the oxygen to your muscles that did a very good job today and again the same hand so right feet right hand left one up and try to keep your balance think about the center of your gravity Good. Change the right hands. So left hand on the floor, second one up. And remember not to, uh, to, uh, to stabilize your knee, okay? And breathe, breathe, breathe. As much as possible, go down with your hips. Okay. And now put the knee on the floor again. And Straight the front leg and go down and stretch your front leg and breathe. Bend it again and by keeping the second leg on the floor, both hands up and stretch your body. Good. And down. We'll come back to this first position. So lay down on the floor. 
hips on your legs, hands on in the front. And it should be very comfortable for you. And slowly move up and relax. And I think that it was a good dose of energy that we give to our body. So let's just finish with the normal seiza. Thank you very, very much for this training. I think that you did a tremendous job, so bravissimo for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Did to you. Have you. A little bit of fun? Yep. From Montreal, Great. Quebec, Canada. Thank you to you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Agatha. Thank you. 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 Thank you.